Hey guys, it's Holly. It is that time of year. My favorite time of year. Halloween! I'm trying to get out of the way of my backdrop. Do you like it? I got out all of my Halloween squishies and my Halloween plushies, and I am very, very happy with it. Now, I've kind of taken a break from doing snack boxes on my channel, but I can't resist a Halloween-themed snack box. I don't know why I'm doing this. Halloween. Here is the box. Now, I have done Tokyo Treat videos on my channel before. I love Tokyo Treat. I just kind of stopped doing snack boxes there for a while because I just was getting really snacked out, but I love them. They are Japanese snacks. I will put all of the information about them down below in the description, but let's go ahead and get started. Here is the brochure. It says, Hungry, Hungry Halloween. All right, so they give you a list of everything that's in the box. I'm so excited. I haven't done a snack box in so long. I miss them. I really do. Look how beautifully packaged everything is. Okay, the first one is this, super cute, has a little ghost on it. Kind of looks like they're Cheetos, is what I'm kind of guessing. Definitely looks like a little puff Cheeto, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be cheese flavor, but that's just my guess. Smells interesting. Definitely has the texture of a puffy Cheeto. Why does it have like a meat flavor? Kind of tastes like tacos. Oh, it's pizza flavor. I think that's what I was picking up that I thought was meat. Okay, so it's basically like pizza flavored Cheetos. I'm down for that. They don't taste bad at all. Definitely has a tomato-y taste to it. I give it like a four out of five. Ooh. Ooh. So we have the drink and the drink has Where's Waldo on it, or just Waldo, not Where's Waldo, he's right there. It says that this is a creme brulee milk tea. Interesting. Full disclosure, I don't really like the taste of tea. However, since this has creme brulee in it, I'm thinking that the sweetness will cut what I find bitterness in tea. That's weird. I feel like if you liked tea, you would like this. You definitely get the creme brulee flavor and then the tea flavor. And honestly, I kind of wish it didn't have the tea flavor because the creme brulee flavor is a lot nicer to me than tea. I'm gonna give this like a two out of five because I don't like tea. But if you liked tea, you would probably like it. Next we have this, which has adorable Pikachu on the front with a little witch hat. And he has like a little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern light. So cute. So looking at the packaging, it looks like these are gonna be chocolate flavored puffs. They are super cute, shaped like Pikachu. Yes, Ooh, it's very sugary and it's very light. It kind of tastes like a Cocoa Puff. And it's really, really good. It says it's called Choco Corn. So it's a corn snack that's chocolate flavored. I give this a five out of five. Really, really yummy. Then we have this can of Pringles. And I'm a little confused because the picture shows a Pringle on a motorbike wearing a hat, by the way. The Pringle has a hat, so that was a nice touch. And there is a bowl of shrimp on the motorbike. <laughs> it's called International Food Trip on the top. I'm gonna guess that these are some sort of shrimp flavor. Let me see what the thing says. These are the spicy seafood, and I don't do super well with spicy, where you how spicy they are. It doesn't actually smell like seafood. I thought it was gonna smell a lot stronger of seafood. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Definitely spicy. It has a little bit of a shrimp flavor, but it's really not strong. Do I dare have another one? <laughs> it's spicy, but it's not too spicy for me. The shrimp flavor is very subtle. I'm very sensitive to spice, so I definitely feel it, but it's not terrible. I'm not dying right now. So I like these a lot. I will give these like a four out of five. Next we have these, which are the Tohato Caramel Corn little crunchies. Ooh, they are pumpkin pudding flavor. Okay. It has pumpkin paste, egg, nectar, and condensed milk. Ooh, that sounds really good actually. Okay. So they look like this, like little Cheetos. It's definitely very sweet. I definitely taste the pumpkin and the pudding, it just kind of tastes like sweet pumpkin though. Very, very good though. I'm gonna give these like a four out of five, very yummy. Next we have these, which I'm pretty sure I've had before. I think these are just similar to the Pokemon snacks that are like chocolate corn snacks. They look like little stars with a hole in it. Mm. 
Ooh, that one is a lot more chocolatey and it's a little bit more, it's less dry. Like the other one was more dry, like and crispy. And this one kind of almost melts in the mouth a little bit. And the chocolate almost has like more of a bitterness to it. So I'm gonna give these like a three out of five. So every time I do a Halloween snack box, there's always the one item in there that kind of scares me. And that is the most interesting and different. And I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be this guy. This is a zombie taiyaki cracker. It's called bubbly taiyaki berry zombie. Inside the crunchy green and black Japanese fish shaped, shaped wafer, you'll find fruity berry flavored chocolate. I am very, very curious and excited to try this. Ooh, it smells so good. I think this is supposed to be black and this is supposed to be green, but they look kind of similar. It smells really, really good. The inside is like purple. It's so weird. The outside is like a crunchy wafer. It doesn't really have a flavor. And then the inside is like, I think it's supposed to be grape flavored on the inside. It's very like bubbly. It's very, very sweet. And I feel like the grape flavor is throwing me off. I don't know how I feel about it, but yet I still want to keep eating it for some reason. It is a very creative idea though, to make it a zombie, I like that. Really doesn't have a good aftertaste either. Ugh. Next we have these sweet potato stick snacks. These I'm pretty sure I've had before and this isn't any special packaging or anything, but they look like these. Mmm. Ooh, they're really good. I like how sweet they are because of the sweet potato. I feel like a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying this, but I think these are better than Pocky. I would much rather have a sweet potato stick than a stick covered in chocolate any day. I give these a five out of five. Then next we have this monster stamp. This is a little candy stamp that you can lick and then stamp with and then eat it. We have a little witch one, a skull, a ghost, and another ghost. I think I'm gonna try the little skull one. <laughs> Cute, very fun to play with your food. This is hard as a rock though, and doesn't really taste that great. So I'm gonna give this like a two out of five because it's cool and it's a stamp, but not good as a food. Next we have this snack. I believe this is another corn snack. This is like a umaibo, but it's in a ring form. And this one says it's slightly spicy. So it looks like a little ring. It looks like it has a lot of seasoning on it. I don't know if I'm gonna die right now. Mm, it tastes really good. It has a nice corn flavor. Oh. I don't taste any spice. These are really yummy. I give them, oh, now I feel the spice. It's just a little bit though. These are good though. I give them a four out of five. Then we have the special Halloween Kit Kats, which I'm very excited about. I always like trying the new flavors of Kit Kats and it looks like this flavor is apple pie. Unfortunately, it feels as though these have melted. Yeah, it looks like it melted a little bit, but it's a really nice purple color. Mmm. Ooh, that's really good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. It has a really, really nice apple flavor. It, like it feels like apple mixed with cinnamon. Like I'm just like having full on apple pie vibes. Five out of five. And I love that these are purple. Mmm. They're just white on the inside. So good. Next we have this, which is just a little grape soda flavored gummy candy. Looks like this. Mmm. That was very soft. I wasn't expecting it to be that soft. Ooh, I like that. It's very, very soft. Very nice, I like the sugar on it. Great flavor is great. I give it a five out of five. Next we have this, and this is kind of funny because it looks like beer when you look at the front. This is maple butterbeer Ramune candy. You don't need to head to wizarding school for this fizzing candy. The mellow flavor of this Romune candy will fizz away in your mouth and dissolve like magic. So totally ripping off butterbeer from Harry Potter, but that's cool, that's fine, we love that. Let's see if it actually tastes like butterbeer, because I love butterbeer at Universal, amazing. It smells really yummy, so let's see. That was weird. It literally dissolved like magic, just like the packaging said. Literally, it was like, 
like I don't understand how they do that but that was crazy I definitely get a little bit of a maple flavor but I wouldn't necessarily go so far to say this tastes like butterbeer to me it does taste good and it is very very fun that it just dissolves instantly in your mouth that's really really fun i've never experienced that with a candy before so overall i'm gonna give these like a three out of five more for the effect than the flavor but still it's pretty cool next we have this which is kind of crazy packaging it says it is monster monster gum energy flavor some monsters are sweet some are sour this pack of gum has both so it has three little three little balls in there Ooh, they smell really good okay I think this is a sweet one. It honestly does kind of taste exactly like a Monster Energy drink. Is this from the same company that makes Monster? I don't get it. It does taste like a Monster Energy drink. I don't know if I'm just making that up. I want to find the sour one. Mm. This is the sour one. Yep, this is the sour one. Oh god. That is really sour. <laughs> okay. 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 Woo! That was really, really the sour one. Wow. That was very, very sour. <laughs> Tastes really good though. It tastes like a monster energy drink, which I love the taste of. It tastes like candy. Five out of five. I love these. I don't know why they're called gum though, because it's not chewy at all. Like it kind of just dissolves. So I don't know. Then we have this, which is called Franken gum. And apparently it's gum that will turn my mouth green. And I kind of wish that I had done this first so that I could have a green tongue hole video. But they look like these. It tastes like soda or ramune. Definitely making my tongue green. I feel like there's always one snack in these boxes that turns your tongue a color. The gum is tasty, made my tongue green. So I give it five out of five. We have a cute little Halloween marshmallow treat. Let's see what's inside. Mmm, tastes like a pudding. Mmm, tastes like vanilla pudding. Mmm, five out of five, yummy. Then lastly is a little spider. I think it was orange flavored. I kind of can't tell. Ooh, it was really good though. Yum, five out of five. So that was everything in my Halloween Tokyo treat box. If you are interested in getting this box, I will put all of the information down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what is your favorite Halloween snack and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.